What's good? It's DJ Mike Nasty, and we're on the Gems Podcast. Well, who in the back? Come on, I'll see Major checking in. And who else we with? Man, your boy Real Young G from Joliet, Illinois. You dig? Real Ooh. Young G. You know, it's the Gems Podcast. We drop nothing but gems, ice, gems, ice, and more ice. gems. <laughs> For sure. I've been waiting to see this young man for a long time, He's been ducking you, brother. It's me and him go, what'd you say? He's been ducking you a little bit. He been ducking me. He been ducking me tap it. You know them DMs is full now. Man, them DMs going crazy right now, bro. I was like, man, I see you right now. I said, man, take the direct down, bro. You know direct, what's up, bro. The direct. This, this is like family right here for Big me. Facts. because Big facts. I seen this man doing some of the same things I done for sure. to get where I'm at today. You know what I mean? Like me, you, I've toured the world for free. You know oh, what I'm saying? Hey, a legend. He a legend for in For free. Man. Thank you, bro. A legend, bro. I gotta Love. get I gotta get the flowers, bro. You a legend Love. in this, Thank bro. Thank you, bro. And, and so is this so is this gentleman in front of me for show. I, I, we were just talking about a story when, <laughs> God damn it, you know, I used to finesse to get in everywhere, you know? <laughs> and, and it's about having that gift of gab, you know? We, hey, yo. we, I really got that. This, this, sure. this right here can get me anywhere. You gotta know how to for talk. Sure. Anywhere. They sent up city boys now, out speaking, of town. Speaking about anywhere. <laughs> How the hell are you getting in all these places? Man, you know, I always got to give them the thanks. Number one, blessings of God, big homie. Absolutely. Make me get up absolutely, every day absolutely. to do what I got to do. Number absolutely. two, like you said, your mouthpiece, bro. Like you said, man, your mouthpiece will get you anywhere, bro. You got to talk to the right people, bro. You got to treat everybody the same. I treat every relationship the same. I don't care if you the dough man. I be like, hey, big homie, after the show done, you want some water, want something to eat? Because think about it, they be working that dough all night. They Come be on, tired, absolutely. bro. And like I said, man, they can either block your motion or be like, man, you know, go ahead, homie. They you got to You, you know what I'm saying? So you got to take care of your peoples, bro. I don't care if you the dough man, on up for sure. Now so. y'all hearing this? He's dropping gym. We're on the gym podcast, yeah. and he's dropping gyms. This young man has been with every artist that you can imagine. Thanks. That's dope. Every artist you can imagine, they really locked in with my guy. <laughs> that's dope. He's that's not dope. just a nigga that's backstage. <laughs> he's locked in for sure. Try to get to it, just like you, big dog. So, so how how do we turn these situationships? Into relationships. Come on, Easy, now. bro. You got to come around and be yourself. You can't go around wanting something for somebody. Because right. you got to think about it. They meet a thousand people a day, bro. Everybody right. come up to them. Hey, check out my music. Hey, check out my, uh, 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 uh can I get a couple of dollars? Hey, hey, hey. Right. You mind if I stay here? Yeah. It's like, what yeah. you mean, bro? I don't even know you like everybody that, bro. Everybody like, wants something. Everybody wants something. If you keep it natural, keep it play, keep it cool, be like, hey, big dog, I just want information. Just give me some knowledge. You know what? Dog cool. Dog don't do too much. He by himself sometime. Or he with another person. Right. He chilling. He out the way. I right, we can rock with him. I'm gonna rock with him. Trustworthy, yeah. Yeah, he seems trust. Let me tell you my offset story. Go ahead, break it down. I'm listening. I'm so look, for this. speaking of finessing, right? <laughs> uh, back in the day, I had a best friend named Lil Coach. That's Coach K's son, right? Mm -hmm. Facts. I always was around Lil Yachty because of Lil Coach. Facts. I used to go backstage everywhere. Now, back in the day, when the Migos and Lil Yachty first came out. I was everywhere with Lil Coach because he was the man behind the camera, right? Literally. Facts, literally. Facts right? Literally. I seen it. I, I ran. It. I ran across the Migos multiple times. Let's say like five or six times, right? For sure. I ran in the offset like five or six times. So at the sixth time, he was like, who is this nigga that's backstage? Like, who is this? <laughs> Yeah. Why this nigga always in Facts. different cities with us? And why, why, who is he? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm in Houston, Texas. I'm at the um, I'm at the Galleria. I'm on the top. True story. I'm on the top. He's at the bottom. He got security all around him. He see me. Yeah. We never had spoken in person ever at this point. I he this. see me. I remember this. He waits at the bottom of the. He see me. He like waits at the bottom of the stairs for me. I'm like. Mind you, Offset was with, like, yeah. two people, barely any security, so the, the nigga was very comfortable. <laughs> nigga, he waited on me to come down the escalator, so I'm like, oh, this is this is it. This is the moment, it's, right? It's perfect, Because yeah. everybody's, we wait, we wait for that moment. You know Facts, what I'm saying? What, moment, what, yeah. what moment's going to change and shift your, your diameter and your career and really shape the next level? So mm -hmm. I came down the escalator, and we start chopping up. You know what I'm saying? He like, hey, nigga, I be seeing you everywhere, nigga. Who is you? You Facts. know what I'm saying? And we chopped it up. We exchanged numbers, and, and, and from there, you know, I sent him some Playhouse merch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this, matter of fact, this 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 episode is sponsored by Playhouse. On, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This episode is sponsored by Playhouse, like by the way. And, and get it. And Taco Soul. And Taco Soul. Taco, taco Soul. So. Your soul. If you ain't never had it, Go you got those. to. Woo! And it's Playhouse, too. Stop playing Anyway, with it. back to it. So, yeah, we locked in, man. And uh, and, and that, stuff like that is what we're trying to explain to artists about really just being around and, and being present. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how you lock in with people. Come if I see now. you five times, I'm be like, who? Nigga, yeah. Man, yeah. Who is this dude? You know real what I'm saying? Talk. Where he's been, and, and that that's that's real big for me. You know, that's especially, especially with like new artists coming out. Everybody asking, how do, how do you do it? Get you some capital. Facts. Yeah. Travel. Yeah. Facts. 
facts. You ain't gonna do it just sitting in your own city. Man, like, you gotta get outside the city. I, had to I do that see first. you everywhere. Man, I had to get outside tell, my tell city. Tell them about it. How, how a, you? I feel the first of all, I had to get outside my city. Like you know, I love Illinois. You know, I'm from Joliet, like I said, Chicago. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I had to step outside it because at the end of the day, you can never grow. To everybody know either from back in the day going to school mm-hmm. or whatever. Man, he trying to rap. Man, we all trying to rap. You know everybody. what I'm saying? So you gotta go to some place where you ain't known. You gotta go some place and build relationships, bro. You can't yep. see me in Indiana. He's like, all right, man, who is G? Yeah. All right, bro. Hey, lock in with me. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is my city. When you come in, you straight. Your face Same thing. Valid. Yep. Face card. Yep. Same thing when I go to Detroit, St. Louis, LA. I just touched down in Denver. I like it when a whole bunch of guys out in Denver. You yep. know what I'm saying? It's you know really, how. I, like I, said, I got like a BMF mentality, bro. And I'm saying that because it's like how they had a hub everywhere. They took over everywhere. Yeah, they absolutely. took over St. Louis. They took over Detroit. They took over Atlanta. They took over Miami. Yep. That's how you really want to go. You want to have that mindset. Wherever I go, I want to set up shop. You know, sure. you know what I want to see? What? I want to see you get backstage Beyonce. Oh, Ooh. oh, you talking about the Renaissance tour? Let me, let me see that. Hey, man, I got to make some you, calls you for the, that one. You the cold <laughs> nigga, you do that. Hey, I ain't going to lie to make, you. I got to make some calls for that one. That's big B. I want to I see that. Can, can, can anybody, hey, when you do that, make sure you call me on FaceTime. Hey, hey, that's the beehive. Bro, that's that's gonna be they tough. That's major. Her, that's they're gonna be tough. They don't play about her. They don't play. I ain't gonna lie. That's, 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 it's a stadium too. Yeah, and, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta challenge me right now. You gotta throw my hand in that that's in the a, arena. That's a challenge right there. I gotta do it. Now I gotta do it. I gotta have answer you, the call. Have you, have you done the arena thing yet? I, I've done arenas, but the stadiums, I haven't been to the stadiums yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you know the artists that you rock with. You know, as you grow in this, you know what I'm saying? They grow too. Absolutely. And it's like you know, I haven't really got to the chance to really do the stadiums, but I really want to mm-hmm. test it out though. Because yeah. you know them stadiums we having. All type of people. The weekend is did a stadium. Beyonce even do a stadium. Man, sure. Man, Bad Bunny sold out stadiums three nights Bad back to Bunny back. Going crazy. Hey, he's a different right. type of monster. I ain't gonna lie, he's a different type of monster. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm to tell you, but the, the, but that culture though, they they spend the most money when it comes to this stuff. Facts. Yeah. You gotta. And my thing is, you gotta go to what a what a capital is. Yes. Yeah. You gotta yes. go to what a capital. I tell people, bro, you ain't a sellout if you make it. If if these if it's demographic over here buying your music. Cater to them, bro. Cater to Absolutely. Them. Yes. It's, 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 Absolutely. Day, minus all the glitz, the glamour, the cloud, all that shit. We in this shit for the bag. But the pride being the bread. A lot of people, the so. bag. Take care yeah. of our family, generational wealth. Literally. The real talk. So, so, so what you doing, what you doing outside of the music to be able to create that generational wealth for yourself? Man, just CEO marketing, just have my own label. Really just influencer stuff, bro. The yeah, influencer, hard. the influencer bag pay a lot. You can, you can you can rap, rap, rap all your life, but guess what? If you ain't got other strands of income, Elon Musk got other strands of income. Absolutely. Jay Z sold his stock in like a liquor brand. Income. Two point something billion. Come on, Come different strands. I seen that. Hello, Jay Z. I know that's right. You know what I'm saying? Now. Different strands of income. You get. I don't care what nobody say. You ain't you ain't just a millionaire off a of rap. You got other stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? So sure. my thing is, I tell people, if you got other businesses. Focus on the businesses, because guess what? That music is nothing but a thing to open the door. It's a face card. For sure. It opens the door to do other stuff. For sure. If you you get yeah, my thing is even Drake got other stuff going on. Everybody. You can be the coldest rapper in the world, but if you ain't got no businesses, that run to be gone. Absolutely. Build a brand. Yo, what, what, what's what's making money while you sleep? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's all about a brand, bro. I say my oh, brand no. bigger than you my music. You gotta stop exchanging your time for money. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. Actual and and, facts. That, and that's how you build wealth. So sure. what you got coming out? What's going on? Man, I, I just dropped, you know what I'm saying, my last project was Sorry I Broke Your Heart. I just dropped it on Valentine's Day. Sorry I Broke Ooh, Your Heart. Man, that sounds tough. Had to get to it, man. Over 300 some thousand, uh, 300 some thousand views right yeah. now. There streams right now on uh, Spotify. I just dropped the music video, Love Me, Hate Me. You see my boy right there, Chop Productions. He, he shot it. Shout out him. He shooting videos? For sure. Man, going shout crazy, out, shout going show. dumb right now, man. We got over, what, 40 some thousand right now on the video. And it's Uh-oh. less than 24. I dropped it yesterday. That's so hard. We, uh, that's did, hard. we just been moving. And I got Mixed Emotions 5 coming out. That project finna be the one. We finna shoot a single to that tonight. So is what? it is this like an R and B twist or is it, it just like rap? So sorry I broke your heart is like an R and B twist. It's a theme album. Okay. Mixed yeah. Emotions Five is like uh, I'm just talking about my hustle in the game. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking about my my life in the game. So it's one of them things where I got mixed emotions. One day I'm up, one day I'm down, one day I'm going through, one day I'm chilling, one day I'm I'm feeling like I'm that nigga. I'm feeling mixed, it. Mixed emotions. You know what I'm saying? That's so hard. and that's dropping on the summer, dropping on my birthday. Okay. What's your what's your right. most streamed song to oh. date? Today, dang, that's crazy. What's my most strength? I don't know. I got a lot of records, but I like to say right now, it's either KOD or Crash Out. Okay. What, 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 what numbers? K- Crash Out over a hundred thousand. Single wise over a hundred thousand. Yep. KOD close to two hundred thousand. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. All independent, no major label, no major push. My own bag, my right. own grinding, my own network, all that. I know that's right, that's how bro. You do it though. So, hey, bro, I appreciate you stopping in with me. We are gonna have to do yeah. this again, man. Hey, hey, real part talk. two on the way. Hey, part two. I've been sure. like boozy on black. I be in this <laughs> motherfucker every day. Hey, nah, real talk, man. Like I said, DJ Mike Nasty, C Major. Come you, on now. You, you tapped in with the Gems podcast, the hottest we drop podcast. Nothing Word. but gems,